When you want to taste the best food in Singapore, then you have to visit Chinatown. I did a food trail in Chinatown and exploring local food and snacks here. Besides the local food, you can also get a whole lot of varieties of souvenirs or little trinkets here at very cheap price. Let's talk about food first. This time, I'm exploring cheap local food in Hawker Centre and some snacks and biscuits from the local pastry shop here. The Chinatown complex is located at Block 335 Smith Street. You will find over 200 food stores located on the second floor of Chinatown complex. Let's go up to level 2 to look for local food to try. The Hong Kong Mongkok Dim Sum is one of the highlights here. Hong Kong Mongkok Dim Sum only starts operating from 11 am. But the good news is, you can go get the queue ticket first when you arrive in the food court. Their siu mai is 3 pieces in a set. I like the fact that their siu mai does not contain too much fat and very dense and solid. After one bite, you will feel the strong smell of sesame fragrance burst into your mouth. You can eat it like that or dip it with their homemade chili sauce. What about their char siu bao? This is another style item in Hong Kong Mong Kok Dim Sum, also three in a set. Their bun is bigger than the one we had in other places. The filling is generously given and also tasted as yummy. You can tell they are freshly made after one bite. Really worth it for such a price tag. Wow, I can't believe with this price tag, we get to have the ji chong fan with so many pieces of prawn. I have to warn you, the queue is very long before the shop starting at 11 am. They don't have very much to choose from, but only six items from the menu, all selling at $2.50 each set. In total, I waited about an hour and a half to get my turn to order the food. Since I was too full, so I ordered takeaway to bring home. Burdock tree kueh is popular with few branches in Singapore. Once I saw the queue is so long, I said to myself, I need to find out if it is really worth to get this. I wanted to know if the Bodo Zui Kui tastes better. Okay, Zui Kui is a type of steamed rice cake and served with preserved radish. I first tasted Zui Kui in Singapore. When it was my turn, I had a proper look at the white steamed Zui Kui. I found that it was slightly bigger than the one I had elsewhere. It is about 50 cents each and two for a dollar. It was served in a brown paper wrapper and a small plastic fork. I had a small bite and found out it was very smooth and soft. The aromatic radish is the key to these snacks. Without the radish, it would be tasteless. Of course, best to go with the chili too. Let's try the dessert, the O Amoy Chendo. A handsome young man greeted me immediately when I stand in front of the store. I ordered one bowl of chendol and the lady made in front of me. First, the white coconut milk was poured generously over the shaved ice, then added in the red bean and green chendol. The final touch was the sole of this dessert, the gula malaka. Love to see how she pour over the top of the shaved ice. Look super yummy for a hot afternoon. The ice was finely shaved, not too rough, but not as fine as those snow cones. Just to my liking. The first spoon in my mouth, I knew their coconut is fresh. And the same goes with the gula malaka. I was so surprised that this uncle made sake ma in the hawker store here. Sake ma is the pastry we enjoyed during our childhood. 
I remembered every time we visited Ipoh, Malaysia, my parents would get some of the sake ma. I bought some pastry from Panji Cook Food and found out their pastry indeed so fresh. Didn't plan to have young tofu at all, but saw the long queue and got me curious. So I joined the queue as well. I have to say this stall has the longest queue in Chinatown complex. First, the price is attractive, only $3 for 6 pieces. The store next door is also owned by Xiu Ji Yong Tao Fu. You can see they hand make the fish paste and fill in the Tao Fu and Tao Bok. I noticed there are ikan bilis or anjovi on the noodles. I think this is another signature of their store. One bite and you can tell their ikan bilis is so crunchy and freshly fried. In Siu Ji Ikan Bilis Yong Tao Fu, don't expect to get the sweet sauce. I tell you why, because you don't need it for their Yong Tao Fu. Their version tastes super fresh and you can just eat it like that. It's time to recharge and have some dessert again. All boiling dessert sell different types of glutinous rice balls, traditionally eaten during the Lantern Festival or Tongzi on the last few days of the year. There is a queue at 1950 Coffee. This is a Michelin recommended coffee and Kaya toast. Well, I don't find it super special. The half-boiled eggs aren't as big as Akun, and the car toast is just normal. Every Chinese New Year, you will see super long queue for Lim Ji Guan Bak Kwa. The line is long and the waiting time can be more than an hour to get your Bak Kwa the sweet meat that traditionally eaten during the Chinese New Year. It is the Chinese version of beef jerky, except this is sweet. They also offered me a slice to taste, and indeed, their bakwa is so soft and tender with a balance of sweetness. Tonghing Pastry Shop is located about 2 minutes walk from the Chinatown food complex. They have a huge variety of pastry, but their signature would have to be the egg tart. I was shocked to find out that the price tag on their egg tart is about $2 each. Usually, price elsewhere is only $1.20 to $1.40. I noticed there is a queue despite the location isn't so ideal. Every customer has to order their egg tart, even their egg tart is a lot more expensive. I too order a few egg tarts to check out why. One bite, one bite, you can tell the difference and I have to say this is one of the best in Singapore. I hardly find a good egg tart in Singapore so far. The egg tart pastry is really good, feel buttery and the egg tart is just melting in your mouth like silk. They also have coconut egg tart, which I find quite unique. One bite, you can taste the fresh shredded coconut, which adds in a different texture and fragrance. Beside egg tarts, Tongheng also have a lot more to offer. If you order six items, they will put it into a beautiful yellow box for you. I find it very presentable, especially if you are bringing as a gift. If not, it would be a waste of the environment. What is next? After the food trail, you can go check out the colorful old shop housing here. I just love the vibrant color of this housing, which makes a great backdrop 
for your photos. The mural is another good way to discover Singapore past and present. Simply stroll around and you will find beautiful art everywhere. On the ground floor of the Chinatown complex are the retail shops that have a mix of options, both the traditional and the innovative stuff. You will find many of the shops here owned by seniors and their regular customers are also elderly folk. The things sold here are very cheap, a great place for the tourists to get their souvenir back home. Doing a food trail is fun and if you wanted to do a food trail, here are some tips for you. Don't come with a totally empty stomach, as some good food store will always have a line to queue. The queuing part may not be fun, but when you taste your food, it may be very well worth it. But sometimes it may not be the case. Anyway, at least you can still solve your curiosity about a food store. Find out why so many people are queuing and the reason behind it. Well, it also depends on your own liking as well.